Hello everyone and I hope you're doing very well. So I'm working through my list of videos that you've requested for me to do and the next one is how to evade SAMs. So we'll split this into two, we'll split it into radar guided SAMs and IR SAMs and today we'll be doing radar guided SAMs. So I've been really wrestling with what to actually show you guys and over the last couple of uh, days I've been testing stuff to see what works and what doesn't different planes, what's easier, what's harder. And I've made a whole different video before this. I made a whole hour long video showing what I would describe as more realistic ways of evading missiles. And that video showed what I would consider a more real realistic doctrine of evading missiles through nullifying, well, first of all, missile ballistics, nullifying missile lead and or bleeding missile kinetic energy and or notching hostile SAM radars and that is what I would consider something that would be it works it works perfectly fine I've got I've done loads of charts and tack views and you know showing how to bleed missile energy and stuff like that and that would be what I would consider a realist the realistic ways of beating the missile uh, however then I thought well do you guys really care about realistic or generally do you just want literally like you asked how to beat radar missiles and I get the feeling you just want to know how to beat radar missiles and it's well, really easy. I don't consider this a realistic way of doing this. I don't think uh, the USA or the Russia or whoever would actually teach their pilots to do this. But in DCS, if you want to dodge radar missiles, then you just do this way that I'm about to show you. And it means I can make a 10 minute video rather than the other hour video that I've got sitting there. If you guys want to see the other video, I'll happily upload it. But I think, like I said, you just want to see how to dodge radar missiles so it's going to be super easy so let's show you the setup f10 so we've got radar uh, sams here we've got the s300 suite here so this is the bad boy of the cold war up to 1990 this is the best uh, sam missile system developed it can do just about everything uh, huge ranges maximum ideal ranges are about 70 miles something like that uh, closer up we've got a period early 60s sa6 cub system um, so I'm guessing this is 70s, SA-11 book system, uh, and for close-up we've got an SA-8 OSA radar guided system, so we've got everything covered here, long range, short range, to be honest, all of these are superfluous, the S, uh, SA-10, the S-300 will do everything that these guys do and better, but I thought just to show you that we can dodge all of them, I'll put all of them on here. And with this easy method that I'm going to show of dodging them, it is just really easy. Uh, uh, you don't even need to understand the missiles because we don't even need to worry about the missiles ballistically like I did in my other video because they're never going to track you. Because there's a very simple understanding of these radars, all of these radars, in fact all radars including air intercept as far as I'm aware, simply can't track a target, I can't even see a target when you're traveling low it doesn't even really matter about the speed generally speaking the faster the better but i can ha probably do this in a cessna at, you know 60 knots as long as you go low and when i say low i mean low low i don't mean flying at 200 feet i mean you know a, you know a few a handful of feet off the ground because at that point the receiver that's receiving the pings back radar pings back simply cannot filter enough of the ground clutter out to see you it's as simple as that now, I've picked what I consider the worst case scenario here. So it's uh, flat land. There's nothing to hide behind. No telegraph poles, no houses, no trees. There's nothing out here. Uh, that said, it is still legal terrain. There are still uh, undulations. So I can't just... It's not out here, for instance, that would be perfectly flat or the sea. That would be much easier. So we've still got undulations to deal with when we're traveling low along the ground, but nothing to hide behind. So it's what I'd call the worst case scenario. So we're going to start in three aeroplanes, or, or we'll just pick the F-15 because it's got a big radar cross-section, very hard to hide but pretty easy to fly. Uh, we'll start low first of all and we'll pretend that we've been intercepted at a low altitude. Then we'll start medium, Angels 10 or something like that and show how we have to modify to suit. And then we'll start at high altitude and show how we have to modify to suit that. Uh, so there's nothing to it, let's get straight to it. In we go. So we're going to obviously use our RWR to uh to find the bad guys now to the, there are two trains of thought here either we're going to be flying defensive uh, in terms of tactics either defensive or offensive so if it's defensive then these hostile missiles are going to fire at me and i'm going to let them fire at me because you know it's, it's an evasion uh technique here we're, we're, we're dodging missiles as such and we can have a tactical 
bias so that we can either be defensive or offensive so the if we are going to be defensive then we're going to dodge the missile and we're going to turn around and run away if we're going to be offensive because we are doing seed work we want to attack these missiles or we want to attack something that's you know in the missiles coverage like a base or uh, an, a low aircraft or something like that uh, just to make things harder we're going to be offensive so we're just going to push through the missiles basically in all of these cases but uh, yeah to do defensive all you would do is just turn around and run so let's get on with it uh, we're going to be using our RWR to see where the uh, SAMs are at all times all of the jets that uh, we're going to be using for this will have an RWR you can do it with warbirds and stuff that don't have an RWR you just have to make sure you use your eyes to find the SAMs. Generally speaking, as well as an RWR, even in a modern jet, it's best to use your eyes as well to actually see the missile, so you can actually see what the missile is doing, um, as well as using your RWR. Right, uh, so let's get on with it. Let's get some missiles up. So we're at low altitude here, we're about to get intercepted. That's probably the SA-10 that's going to be shooting us, so I'm guessing we're about 10 miles out or something like that, I can't remember. Too far to see them. I don't think we've got anti-clutter on the F-15, I can't remember. So that is a missile out, you can see that is, that is, that's the trajectory of, that's a lofter, so that's an F-300. So, all we've got to do is this. We need to completely nullify this missile. And when I say low, I mean low. Like, that kind of low. And, hey presto. The missile has been beaten. It cannot track us when we're this low. It cannot filter out the returns, whether it's undulating terrain, whether it's flat terrain, whether it's sea. Sea is even better, in fact, because they, uh, the, the returns from the waves just filter you out even more, so you don't have to be so low. And so this is a kind of attitude. So this is what I consider quite high, actually. It's kind of uh, 15 feet or something like that. And this is what I was saying. I wouldn't consider this really a realistic uh, a way, you know, which Air Force is going to teach their pilots to go... 15 feet off the ground it's just too dangerous you just suck in the fod the bird strike risk is going to be like a thousand percent and so and whatnot but in dcs we don't really get these things uh we get we do get trees and stuff but they're 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 much more sparse than they would in real life you don't get hedgerows and stuff like that in dcs so in dcs to dodge missiles and i think that's what you're asking for this is what you do with a radar guided missile you don't need chaff you don't need anything just fly low you're probably saying oh the cap you've cheated you've used a uh, terrain that's pretty flat and um, that's fine but I'll, I'll show you some undulating terrain later on and show you that it's actually even easier the more undulating the terrain is the more mountainous the easier this the easier this gets so let's carry on i'm trying to crash now i've i'm pause and we can even tease them look <clears throat> i'll get them to fire at us again back down again lose the track Come on, lose the track, lose the track, lose the track. And lost the track. Tease them again. And lose the track. And it doesn't matter how good your radar is, you just can't see something this low. Now, is this still reality in 2019? I'm not sure. Uh, you guys will have to tell me. Can an S400 see you this low? Probably not, because physics is physics at the end of the day. And you probably just can't filter that amount of noise. That amount of noise in the return signal. And I've tested all the aeroplanes like this. They all work absolutely fine. Even the warbirds flying down here. Uh, in fact, the smaller the plane is, the better it hides. So uh, I've tried an F5 down here. And you don't even need to go this low. You can go about 50 feet. Regards speed down here. Uh, you don't need to hurry, really. I would say keep your burners off. The faster you go, the harder it is to uh, not smack into the ground. So about 400 knots, something like that. Whatever's comfortable for the aircraft. We've got automatic trim in an F-15, obviously, so it makes this much easier. You'll have to sort your trim out if you've got a flanker or whatnot, but, you know, it's just basic flying. 101. And that's it. We are literally on top of this little blighter. Switch the guns, give us some tacker tacker. Drop a bomb on it. Fly into it, if you like. And, uh... None of these guys here can shoot within about half a mile. The OSA is the only danger here, really. Um, they can shoot about a quarter of a mile, half a mile or something like that. 
Uh, realistically, you wouldn't be able to get this close, obviously, because you would have AAA or uh, IR guided sounds or something like that. But it's just showing proof of concept. Uh, what I shall do now, I guess, is just burn up and show that they are indeed active SAMs and they will shoot me. Come on, shoot me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Uh, SAMs don't like you flying over the top of them, so I may have to go out laterally, laterally a little bit. Come on, take your time. I think I accidentally killed one of them. Come on, find me! Search radars, I'm over here! Oh, Jesus, finally. Yeah, uh, Sam's don't like you being right over the top of them. They're just not expecting to find you there with their search radar. But they finally found me. Come on, have a pop! CS300 going again, and something else, and... Oh, that's, uh... That's all of them. Let's see if we can dodge it, shall we? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you lose! Oh, look, there's a little thing out here. Didn't know that. Nothing you can do to hit me. Nothing you can do to hit me. Low. They're still lo they're still tracking technically. It might just be delay on our RWR. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. I can just keep dodging like that. Um, so that <laughs> pretty much it. That's how you beat a sound. Um, right, I will go and try the different, uh, just to be kind of official and efficient, uh, we'll now restart and, uh, if I can find restart, oh, for five minutes, fly again, which will be medium altitude now, just pretend we're going to get intercept, pretend the Sam just turned itself on at the last minute, I'll get as close as I can, make it as hard as possible. And when they launch, I'm just going to go straight down into the vertical to ditch the missile. And my key is, to, again, just to get as low as possible. Okay, the spiking. Look for the launch. We have a launch. There it is. No panic. Very easy. We're too fast to dodge at the moment, so air brakes out. Engine's off. Down to about 400-ish. We can notch. We can go back. We can go forwards. It doesn't really matter. Our only real danger is ourself running ourselves into the ground. And that is a broken lock. And then we can turn around, we can go in, we can go out, we can do whatever we want. And we'll just do high altitude to show that. Uh, choose slot, high altitude. Off we go. Right, we're a big heavy flight up here. Uh, now. Because we've got this lovely potential energy here, we've got this 25,000, we might not necessarily want to go all the way down to the deck. Uh, it really is going to depend on the threat. Um, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on what this does. If it's an S300, then we know it's going to be shooting at us from a long way away. It's not going to be a threat. If it's a... Um, uh, I'm just trying to think of an example, maybe an SA3 or something shooting like this, then it might be a threat because... Um, it, it's got low range. It's probably going to be firing about 10 miles or something. It'll be more more of a threat. In that case, I uh, uh, so a closer range Sam, I would probably dive down to the deck just to make sure. Uh, but with S300, I wouldn't bother. Um, I would just uh, well, I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Uh, assuming that I was just trying to dodge the missile. Let me say that again. Let me let me let him fire on me, and I'll show you what I mean. Let me just speed that up. Okay. Don't think he's fired yet, has he? Oh, yeah, missile's out. Right, well, I don't want to waste all of this um, beautiful potential energy that I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split S. In this case, I would be defensive. Okay, I'm not to over G again. The only threat here is myself. So I'm doing a 10,000 foot split S here. And now I'm heading away. And I'm going to slowly climb back and get my energy up. 
There's nothing that missile can do to, to, to catch me up. Uh, see if I can see it on the F-10 map. I uh, can't see it, unfortunately, but you can take my word for it. Okay, so that's that missile beaten. So that is if I was uh, defensive. Now let's do the same thing if I was offensive, i.e. If, if I wanted to kill that uh, SAM site. Let's turn back in. Oh, that's fine. Jesus, so nice fine. Oops, sorry. Hello. Come on. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang, please. Skip time. Any boom, boom coming out? I wonder what our range is. I don't know. There's no real way of telling the range unless you had data link, essay page, or tally. I don't have any at the moment. Oh, that's, that's a... Launch warning, there he is. Okay, so this time we're going offensive, and it's the same old BS, really. 400 knots, 450 knots, down we go. Scratch the missile by running into the ground. Again. The only danger is myself here. Air brakes out. that missile and that's be done there's nothing they can do to shoot me down I can't think of anything else to try and put myself in danger um, so that's it uh, that's how I would get it from high altitude and I could just go and egress here I guess the next thing I'll show is a bit more undulating terrain I'll pick a different aircraft uh, get some telegraph poles and some houses in the way and show how it even gets even easier at that point okay let's get ourselves a search let's search for that thing get a power up speed up it's on the nose somewhere we know Keep checking for track, no track. Oh, that's a track. SA-10... SA-10 track, that is. Wait for a launch. Sort the trim out while we're here. Get the speed up. Get a good look around. Where is the visual cues for this thing? It's on that peninsula with some big fat buildings. That's our visual... Is that a launch? That's a launch. Where is it? There it is. It's going up. And okay. So, follow what we did before. We've got a good look at it. We know where it is. Down vertical, off the power, straight down, run it into the ground, maintain our speed, and into the notch. Watch the trajectory. What can that missile do? Nothing will be like this. It should be lower than that. SC300 will need to be much lower. That kind of low. That's good. Now we've seen where it is, we can go and ingress. Let's see if we get this gun working. This. Ah, okay. I think that switch is a little bit funny at the moment. Well, I'm not even going to use my RWR because I've got a good look at it. I know exactly where to go. And there's a good chance it's going to be able to fire at us again. Um, because we can't, you know, wish for mountains all the way. So, if that's the case, we're just going to tease it. We might be able to get a search. Okay, we've got the clamshell. We can see where it is in azimuth. It's five degrees, two degrees left. So we tease another couple of missiles at it, shall we? Uh, shit. Track. No launches. Come on, launch a beep. There's a launch. All right on cue. So this is a nice little gully we can use. Don't even need to go vertical here. We can just use this nice little gully. And that's already a dead missile. Give it a minute to break its lock. Here we go again. Where are you, little monkey? Okay. Nailing us. It's out in a little open gully there, so uh, out into the flatland, so maybe we're going around this way is the best way to do it. But we've got to look at the terrain and see where it's going to allow us to get to this thing. Probably a good time to speed up at this point in case we do get an emergency launch. Right. I don't think it can track us anymore so we're going to look for the search ping. 
Got the ping. Keep low, 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 low. Finding you. Oh, gone past it. There it is. Just fired by the looks of it. Right. Now it's got a minimum radius of about a mile, so keep it a mile, they can't shoot us. Up we go. For our gun run. Get some energy in the bird, and we're just gonna just gonna float down onto it. One little baby. Again, this isn't really part of the video, but it's just a bit of fun. Showing what you can do. Arr. Get some. Keep it tight. Keep it within the mile. Up we go again. Try and get some energy back at the bird. That should be okay. We are going to stall a bit, so we'll have to go lateral. Um, when targeting, always go for the radar first. I was just mucking around there. I suppose just do it properly. Let's go for this radar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off the power. Don't panic. Oh, that was a close one. Uh, that's both radars down. Um, nope. Still a track radar? Doesn't really matter. That's not the point of this. Right, so that's showing um, the high altitude, the decisions we made, the choices we have, and dependent on the variables that we had inputted through our senses and our knowledge. And it showed how we could turn that long altitude uh, low down notch into an aggressive move of slowly creeping in. So that's it, simple as that. I insist now that you go and put the harder SAM, radar SAMs you can uh, on your map and you'll find that you can just really easily defeat them now and they're not really a threat, they're a deterrent, but not really a threat. Uh, right, hope that helps and see you later.